There's a lot of information out there with news and discoveries being released every minute. So how do you keep up with this constant barrage of content? One invaluable tool for staying afloat in the sea of ideas is the humble RSS feed. An RSS feed is a rich site summary or really simple syndication, depending on who you talk to. In a nutshell, it's a feed that automatically updates when new content appears online, which means it works really well with lots of different types of online media. By subscribing to an RSS feed, you avoid having to constantly check a blog or a website for any new information, freeing you up to do more important things than hitting that refresh button. To truly maximise RSS feeds, you need an RSS reader, which helpfully pulls all of your RSS feeds into one convenient place for you to read at your leisure. There are lots of products out there, many of which sprang up to replace the devastating shutdown of the popular Google Reader services in 2013. One of these products is Feedly, and I'm going to share some Feedly facts with you now. Feedly acquired 500,000 new users in the 48 hours after the closure of Google Reader. Gosh. It continues to be popular and now boasts in excess of 15 million users. It's a free service with an optional pro package. It's browser-based, so there's no need for any installations, and it's also cloud-based, so your accounts can sync across multiple devices. It's highly personalizable with categories and color schemes. There's some social media integration for easy sharing, and you can search for specific websites or themes to add new content within Feedly. You can find lots of academic content online, but how do you keep up to date with research that is being published in journals? RSS feeds play a part here too, with a Zetoc service from JISC. Zetoc pulls together millions of citations from the British Library's electronic contents pages for journals and conference proceedings so you don't have to. They have a defined RSS feed option for this service which would work well with Feedly, but I want to focus on Zetoc alerts. By setting up an alert, you can have content pages and articles with specific keywords or themes pinged to your inbox in an instant. These emails have handy links to take you through to the resource itself, so you can read it, print it off, or save it for later. The only time when this seamless process doesn't work is if your university does not subscribe to the resource in question, but hopefully this shouldn't be a problem too often. Of course, you can always contact your local friendly librarian to ask if a subscription can be purchased, but that's a different adventure for another day. Many of us often spot interesting articles, videos and other gems online that we want to save for later but don't always have a quick and easy way of doing so. Sure, you could email a link to yourself but it's a bit labour intensive. Pocket is a fantastic tool that can sit in your browser and allows for you to save any kind of web content with the click of a button. You can even add tags to group things together and make them more meaningful to you when you come back to them later. Pocket collects everything that you save into a library, which you can then access from anywhere, as it's entirely cloud-based. Pocket also works with social media platforms such as Twitter, so you can save things that people have tweeted in Pocket for later digestion. Pocket is also quite pretty, as it displays all of your saved content in an attractive, image-heavy fashion, so you can find what you need at a glance without having to scroll through a lengthy list of meaningless URLs. As with most things in life, Pocket is also available as an app, and it edits down many articles and web pages that you have saved, so you can read them offline on your device when you're on the move. You just need to make sure that you've given it a chance to sync with the cloud, or simply update itself, since you last saved anything new. So, I hope that's given you some fun tools to try out and play with. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below, and see you next time for more, more methods. Thank you.